Hello, I've been doing an orange picture and after a bit you think you need a bit of a stretch like you know you've been bending over a lot and you need to stretch your arms back. Anyway so I thought I'd do a blue picture. Blue picture, I've not finished the orange one yet but I will. Um, so I thought well I'll, I'll use some paint. I've got these lovely little canvases and I'm, I'm looking to make a set of nice things to potentially auction off at LaveCon, hopefully, assuming that everything goes okay. Anyway, so I squidged a load of lovely blue paint on it and I've used my roller. I've, uh, <laughs> it's decalcomania. It's not decalcomania. It's that's butterfly prints or transfers, but it's not a transfer. Unless you consider the roller to be the transfer, which it is, I guess, because I could then transfer what I've taken off the canvas onto a bit of paper elsewhere. I used to like surrealism and they were all into decalcomania. And, and they used to use gestalt and make up pictures from the blobby shapes that were created when you pull the paper away. You get all these whirls and dots and circles and, and, and lines, ripples. And I thought it was quite useful for the, uh, for the ground, the uneven terrain. And I thought normally I try and copy these things properly. But I, I just, I was in a really lazy, relaxed mood and it was sunny and I thought, oh, I won't, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a, a fun picture. So I, I, I sort of let it all do its thing. And um, I did my wibbly wobbly mountain. And these plants are so funky, they're so good. They, they grow on, um, not lava spouts, what are they called? Uh, fumaroles. So they're, they're growing in the, the noxious gases and the heat that, uh, that emanate from these, these little rock piles. And the rock pile there is that lumpy bit on the right. And, and I'm, not, I'm not kidding, this picture was blue. It is that blue, this picture. I'm gonna have to find out where it was. And, and those, those almost like glowing blue fruity mushroom pod things. They're freaky, I like them. They're great, they're kind of like almost like strawberries, blue strawberries and the peculiar minty green dots on them that they have as well. I, 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 just, I just really enjoyed it. I particularly like doing that traditional sci-fi cover moon in the background and it really did look... I mean, this is where I probably should have actually smoothed out that gloopy paint because obviously the atmospheres in Elite don't have any texture to them, they're just flat. So it, it was a very, very tranquil light blue atmosphere with that great almost 1970s airbrushed moon thing going on there. It, it was it was really beautiful screenshot which I, which which I've not exactly <laughs> but I've really enjoyed doing it which is which is good news really because I've I've got another five of these little canvases to do. I'm, I'm going to think of some other clever topics. <laughs> See how I get on with that. Anyway, well, thank you for watching. I always really appreciate it when people do. And um, and if you have a clever idea of what charity um, you would like me to auction them for at some stage, do say. <laughs>